up, Elijah? Susie, good to see you. Comic Combos is back for another episode, guys. Ah, we're so happy. You guys have no idea. This is like our break. Oh, right? This is like the best part of the week, man. Oh, we easily. Get like a nice easily. break in. We get to talk about kinky stuff, comics, movies. Oh, oh and really just relax. Like, don't get me wrong. We put in a good amount of work behind the scenes of this. Like, oh, it's not absolutely. just, it is not limited to the two hours you see us here every week. On no, Thursday. guys, this is about, you know, an hour a night, especially depending on what's going on yeah. in our other lives as Definitely. well. Neat. Hey, Elijah. Thanks. Yeah, thank you for coming, Elijah. Susie, what's up? We got eight viewers already, man. That's great. Hey, what's guys. What's up, everybody? So, if you've turned, tuned in, hopefully you know who we are. Uh, I'm Axel Gray. And I'm Leo Rydell. And this is Comic Convos, guys. Back oh. for our 23rd episode. 23. You guys 23. realize that I think we literally just hit our six-month mark. I think so. It's yep, even this week. And, it, and it's a little confusing because we haven't hit... The the What's actual up, like uh, twenty twenty six I think which is the halfway you know what I mean twenty six out of fifty two weeks yeah but because we but, missed I mean, three ep- we missed a couple yeah and we Mo- started back in December, December like this has been yes. a thing for a while guys yo uh, what's up Rachel yo Izzy what's up what's up how you doing Izzy the Riel <laughs> Yes, but anyway, we've been going for about six months now, guys, and it's all because of you. I mean, we're just two nerds, just hanging oh, out. Man. Yeah, we got so right. many great people here. We got Rachel, Susie, Izzy, Elijah. Yes. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. And uh, as we said before, you know, you're checking us out. You've hopefully seen us before. We do this every week, same time, uh, pretty much with, without fail. Sometimes we're late without a little fail. bit, you know, but we always try to show up with, for you guys, at least one of us, you know what I mean? Oh, we love you guys too. Oh, you, you're awesome too, Rachel. Six months, six months, six everyone. Months. Yeah, we're at our Transformers episode now, y'all. And let's oh. just say it's getting canned right now. I mean, a I haven't people, seen it. I know Axel hasn't are, seen it, I but a lot of people it. are really slamming it right I now. I mean, I've heard a lot of rips on it. And to be fair, there's a lot of controversy controversy around the entirety of Transformers, like every the entire aspect. series. Yep, every I mean, aspect just, of the entire series. It's yay, always been a widely disputed six one. Months, Happy yay. six months, yay! Yeah, it's always been like a heavily not going disputed to see series. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> skip the, that. Skip the Mummy as well. I mean, everybody knows if like said, you have if you haven't heard the Mummy's terrible. Spinning. I will say, and this is a personal one, so I got to go see my. Self still watch the last night. Okay, night. okay at best. Best. that's nice to have an opinion. I mean, I heard you know you, your father has told you about he a little said bit that it was about uh, a seven, right? Yeah, and I, now to be fair, he's a g- big Transformers fan, so you got to take that into account. Uh, and he, like that also excuses in both ways, but really his breakdown of it came to that the movie itself was pretty decent, you know. Oh, we got somebody stuff. who said, I gotta catch up with Transformers, never made it past one. Oh, wow. Well, one and two are the best, for sure. Definitely. I wanted to but see Tom the Mummy, Cruise, but Tom Cruise... Not, no, least favorite. Oh, maybe that's what he was talking about, not seeing. Dude, is he? Like, Tom Cruise is so terrible in this role. I'm like, this is the worst role for Tom Cruise. My thing is, he's Cruise. not even my least and he's favorite trying actor, to, like, but he's, they just put him in such weird He's trying to be sometimes. so funny. Like, he's trying to set up to be, like, this kind of, like, com- like, comedic character who, like, is quippy and snippy and and whips out these all these uh quirky puns and stuff and yeah. I'm like I don't I don't like that character for yeah. Tom Cruise as an actor. Uh for Rachel is this the new room setup? Yes, this is our new room setup. Yep. Uh until we f- find a specific place hopefully we're going to build something yep. for we're streaming definitely gonna eventually. Build a room eventually. Right now though this is our setup with the nice screen, you know, provided by our lovely host Leo. And uh, it's okay, you uh, missed the last week. We missed you too, yeah, Rachel. Yeah, no worries. Just Come on, impossible with the mummy. Oh man, I Tom Cruise was great in the Outsiders. That it. Secar- supporting character bust. <laughs> I mean, I thought he was good in a few other Sweet movies, but I didn't think geez. he was the best actor. Watch no. Jack, Jack Reacher too. Awesome. awesome, Tom. I'll have to check out. Like the thing That's is, not I Tom like Cruise. Tom. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Oh. Jack but, Reacher, yeah, it is. Jack Reacher, yeah, 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 that is him. Okay, Christian. Jack Reacher two was actually Hi, pretty Christian. good. Thanks What's for up, Christian? Up. Thanks for coming yeah. out, my man. But yeah, Jack Reacher two was actually really, really good, and I will say that's probably the best Tom Cruise like lineup of films, probably ever. To be honest, the Jack, the two Jack Reacher films are some of his best portrayals, if you ask me. Mission Impossible. I think it was over you. Yeah, I mean, it's just hey, like, Jorge, hey, thanks for tuning in. What's up, Jorge? Everybody, welcome in. Good to thanks see you guys all night. Yeah, thanks for stopping. Yeah, and tonight's 
grand topic is Transformers, but we obviously talk about other stuff. Oh yeah, well. we talk about all things in the geek verse. Oh, we every, talk about honestly, everything. everything. We were actually sending some, which we don't we don't always get Days of Thunder. That's it's more his what genre than the money. I don't know. I'd oh, have to definitely. See. I mean, the definitely. mummy's like a hey, kind of horrorish. Likes, yeah, thanks, Sarah. It. It's kind of like a horrorish. Like they try to set it up to be like this action horror crossover, and I'm like, and eh, nah, it's not working out for Tom Cruise. And also, this is the beginning of the dark universe, but this was such a terrible beginning. I don't know if I want more. Like, right. I don't know if How, I want a Frankenstein. The thing is, I don't think man. we're going to get a choice. I think stuff like, no, unlike a lot of the Marvel and down. DC movies, which are pushed out with trepidation, mm-hmm. aside from Batman and Superman, who are never... <sighs> no one cares. I just put out those out whenever. Um, because they always sell. It doesn't matter if they're good. I know. BBS sold so much. I mean, it... And, I mean, it made a lot, but then, it was a terrible movie. Yeah. But it made a lot but, of money, and that's my thing. It's like it, 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 it's it's uh, it made a ton of money, and that's why you can't can't always go by sales. But even if you do go by sales as metric, BVS does nowhere near the top. I mean, it's not near Marvel and stuff like that. But oh, I'm just I mean, saying, even, like for its budget, it's oh yeah, actually cooped it's, in a lot of money. Oh yeah, I mean, well, if I mean, they did average for a. I would say above average, bro. If you want to Google, yeah, uh, that's but it's true. Definitely above it's average. like six fifty. It's or because 70, of it's because of the setup. Plus. Think about it. Like we were so excited was, to see this. Like they got a good thing, but I I, I know for a fact all the Batman Let's movies see, sold better than BBS. Oh well, yeah. I mean, Every the Dark Knight sold. Yeah, the, the whole best trilogy, D- DC movie. Period. Yeah. Brandon, what's up, my man? Hey, welcome Terrible to Terrible way to start well. BU. Oh, God. Oh, man. I wonder what these guys thought of Wonder Woman, even if it's small. I thought Wonder Woman was pretty great, Elijah, honestly. Wonder Woman was awesome. Uh, it's on my, Fantastic. it's on my, definitely the top of my list for DC movies. And especially this year, I mean. Uh, or DCEU movies. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Dark Knight is still such still a powerful trilogy. My favorite. Honestly, it beats out a lot of Marvel movies. Oh, absolutely. Great, great trilogy. Yeah. That's they should the have done Superman, the almost the period. Brendan mummy like that one better would have started. I think I agree, except for the Brendan. Well, no, because the original mummy was scary. It wasn't just comedy and Brendan Fraser. It was creepy. I wouldn't say it was like, oh my oh. god, like I'm. Well, just, I when can't was look the last the scary movie though that you've seen in in real in realistic thing? Like right. it's been thirty years, bro, and I'm not thirty. It's been thirty years since they made a decent horror movie. Paranormal activity was cool until they did the but whole. But it wasn't scary. Man. No, no, it wasn't. No, very... it wasn't scary. The, I'm trying to think I, legit, right now. Actually, legit. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie, but legit, the last scary movie I've ever seen, my father showed me when I was like 16, and I thought I was done with scary movies. What was it? Uh, Phantasm. F that movie. I love Phantasm. It is so scary. Me too. Scary. But I, that's why I it is so F it. freaky. I, I'm yeah. so scared. I think to watch they would it. do the Dracula one, but for some reason said not to it for the DU, which I don't get because let's not. Tyler one. <laughs> no, it's Tyler. What's up, Ox? <laughs> hey, what's up, Tyler? What's up, Tyler? Susie, what's up, Mikey? Our, our great, our Welcome great back. patrons from Patreon. Oh, Mikey, it's good to see you. You're By the way, this week. we do need to make that announcement. Thank you to all of our Patreon subscribers Please, and supporters. Yeah. Tyler. Lockridge, thank you so much, my man. Personally. Susie Marie, thank you so, so, so very much. And Cy Kennedy, thank you. We thank you guys for coming back every week. Every week. And for contributing to the Patreon. Oh, God. You guys, like, you guys you have no fantastic. idea how much it means to us, how much it helps. Every every dollar, and these guys give more than than the minimum, you know what I mean? These guys have all I always showed support from day one, so we got to give day them one. a special shout out and say thank you. Winky face to you, too. Sup, Michael. Everybody, thank you. Hi, in just trying to keep... We try not to lose the new so people much, with the old people either. So, Greg and Elijah, obviously, thanks for coming in. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, so we love not here yet. I and know. We'll definitely he might him in be and let sleeping know. is the thing. you got to remember, Sai is... He's at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning yeah. right now. Like, he is... Uh, it is very, late. It's very late. Very, very late for Where him. he's at. Like, I mean, Cy he's in Ireland, so... Cy is always staying up late to watch the show, which is why mm-hmm. I give Cy great. so much respect. The dedication is beautiful. Definitely. And Susie is, too. I mean, Susie, it's 9, 10 o'clock right now. Yeah. You guys are so dedicated. Thank you so much. But thank you so much for coming. Like I said, everybody, and... Like, like DCU woman, movies, though. Wonder Woman definitely... Definitely set DCU, a good standard yeah. for them. She is going to... I hope they take the cues from Wonder Woman... And move them and into just Justice get them into League. Justice League. It'll please, be so please, easy. I, beg, I don't think so, Greg. Google it for fact check. So I was not here. Hey, yet. Sterling. Wait, what, what did Greg say? What did Greg say? I saw Greg's thing, but I thought Wasn't Dracula the was Dracula the beginning Dracula of the start. Darkest. No, no, it's the mummy. I don't believe it was um, either. And I don't think they actually consecutively go in any order. But yes, like, I have. All their own I have read you some new Marvel. I read the new. I read the new Cap. Nope. 
Boom. All right, well, that's going to be fun. Still have to go see Wonder Woman, Sarah. Please see it. It is the best in the DCEU right now. Like, we are talking about a movie that is not only visually stunning, but the main acting talent is great. Fantastic. The, we only had a couple of things that were there a little be, bit strange. Details. We won't, we won't Very do small too, details. We won't most spoil. Of, so. Most of it... Most villain. of it's fantastic. Yeah. Villain is the only... Oh, man. And even then... Which, which it's not... Even then, it's, it's not a complaint. Yeah, it was it's just, just something that like I would have rather personally yeah, seen. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, what are those things against one? I'm reading different. The Weapons of Mutant. Yes, I just finished reading Weapons of Mutant Destruction earlier. Sweet. The last... Can't wait, can't wait to read the next Incredible Hulk. The last Dracula movie I watched was... Was it Beginning? Untold? Uh, I was probably... I don't know. You got, you'd have to describe the plot, Michael. Right. But if I had to guess, it's probably Beginning. Beginning, yep. beginning is the most recent, most popular Dracula Xena movie. trained Wonder Woman. I'm reading the... Oh, the, yep, you got it. Izzy's... How effing cool is that? I have to rewatch to make a final decision. Uh, are you talking about I think Wonder she's talking Woman about or? all the... Uh, I think Wonder Woman. I, I think it is. But she remembers Susie didn't really like Wonder Woman. Yeah, so. but she just got to rewatch. She just got to rewatch and get caught up, you know? Yep. And I, Lucy Lawless. Lucy Lawless. Oh, man. Wow. Wonder and that, Woman. Uh, okay. And that, that is the other thing I want to point out about Wonder Woman that I think makes it so contrary is because of all the hype. And a lot of it, not real hype. And you know what's crazy, too, is that the hype actually started right after Batman vs. Superman. People were saying that was the only good part of that movie, was that we had such a strong Wonder Woman. Even though her presence in the movie wasn't that heavy, mm -hmm. we wanted to see more. Definitely. We wanted to see this character on the big screen, and it finally happened. And we didn't expect it to be the first film. I didn't expect it to be the first right after Batman vs. Superman, to be honest with you. I thought they were going to do Flash, Aquaman, something else. I figured because, they would I mean, at least do... I thought they were going to do Batflick first. Yeah, because, I mean, but, it's like, you know, the trio usually goes, it's like, you know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. That's generally how it With a drop on Wonder, yeah, but... Yeah, but, but I mean, still, Gary Gaddis is yeah. on the world's finest. And it's funny, actually, the, the biggest... No, no phone is dying. Bye, guys. See you, Sarah. See so ya. I was Thanks for coming out. Start how he became Dracula, Mikey. Yeah, it's probably Dracula beginning. Beginning. Right? Yeah, that's uh, the um, exact plot. It's like the beginning of the stuff. Yeah, it's like literally. It's like he should, they show it. But in addition to that, I will say that lately, even pr just a couple weeks prior, at least, it was receiving a lot of hype for stuff it shouldn't have been receiving hype for. And what do you mean by that? So a lot of one of the big ones running around was the first like strong female role thing or first female nope. super which was entirely false there's Sigourney dozens, Weaver dozens much, of examples we, much, we even much, talked much about before. We, we talked about that we talked about Sarah, Sarah Connor, Connor. Yep. and th and those are just a few live action let alone I mean um, we have animation we've had an animated Wonder Woman movie for six years now and we didn't Eight mind the now, Wonder Woman me. electrical guitar theme that was actually I felt like Wonder Woman's theme was the weakest part but really not I because love of the theme I just didn't the theme I was very powerful it. to me uh, I'll play it for you after yeah, this you, you'll it's be like probably, right, yeah that's pretty epic because I mean, it sounds little, like it's it was not strong, as memorable but I think that might be the problem it's not memorable because like themes for the most part have to be because that's the thing you, even things that aren't epic so my example of this, and people will disagree, but at its base level, actually, no, it's pretty epic. The original Spider-Man song for the series, <gasps> and the only reason I had to take that Are you back talking is about the animated, animated, oh, yes, because yes. it wouldn't be epic unless you knew the backstory behind it, and that the Aerosmith guitarist or lead singer does it. Mm, or is it ACDC? Well, it's definitely someone big. It's, a, it's definitely a classic rock band, but I well, don't think it's I either think it's of those Aerosmith. Two. Is it Aerosmith? I'm pretty sure. No, it's another band, man. Right. I'm trying Who to look does, it up here. Yeah, we'll, we'll look it up. But I know it's definitely one of those like 80-ish It's like a rocker, classic 80s you know band. I mean? Yeah, for yeah. sure. And he does, and it's not the whole band. It's just one piece of them. So some are mixed on Wonder Woman's theme. It's growing on me. I thought it was fine. Joe Perry. Joe Perry. Is that Perry Perry? Is it Joe Perry that does it? I don't think so. It won't say. Well, that's the 60s one. You gotta get the 90s one. Because he redid the... Uh, oh, I didn't put it in the, ni <laughs> the 90s. Oh, yeah, you got the original Spider-Man. Because that one's done way, way before that by... Yeah, Probably I meant to Stan do Lee, like, uh, actually, I think. Didn't Stan Lee do Joe original? Perry. It was Joe Perry. Right on. The lead guitarist of Aerosmith! Woo! Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> you got away this one time, my man. I was like, I want to say we go 50-50 on that. Angus Young. Ah, close. You're in the field. How would you compare this series to the comic 
Wait. Compare the. Unfortunately, I didn't film. watch a lot of the series. Uh, Wait, Wonder are we Woman? talking Wonder Woman or I think Transformers? It's Wonder Woman. Unless it's. Maybe it's Transformers. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're talking because about. Because I don't know any. Which the, one is best? Are we talking. What are, which, yeah, yeah, yeah I, let's, let's I figure assume out. We're what going we're Wonder talking. Woman, but we'll wait for that. I mean, either way, we could talk about it. Comparing the comic books. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Okay, right on. Um, I feel like that. It's hard. The original it series, it's very different from. And let's think about it this way. Cinematically, and I'm not talking the TV show and Linda Carter. We're leaving that out because that's not a movie release. No, cinematically, well, she did see the, the TV show, though. Yeah, but I mean, that I'm just talking like show. big cinema very recently. Very recently, we have had a lot of Batman. We've had some Superman. We've had spy- a lot of Marvel, obviously. I mean, we've had a lot of those characters built up. This is the first... Really, the first movie with her as a central character. BVS was definitely Batman and Superman. Even um, she had some was more about. It was more like Bruce versus Clark right. <laughs> brooding. I in mean, the, geez, it's uh, like well, it was that scene that they met each other. So yeah. it was that they had that scene. Mm-hmm. Then they had the car pull up scene where it's like the you know when they're talking and then yeah, yeah they have Superman the throws him out the way and yada yada. You have that scene and then you have them fighting. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is the only. Meetups we have out of these two? So bad. So bad. One of the possible show, villain movie in Venom. Yep. Yes. I saw that. I did. I really. I don't know how they're going to do it. But I mean, the only thing is if that happens, guys, we have to do a rated R. Oh, well, duh. Have I mean, to. I mean, I, look honestly, at Carnage's character. Honestly, I don't think you can do Venom anyway without a rated yeah, R. Unless I mean, you do Agent Venom, and even oh, then. Please, no. Please, oh, no. Agent please Venom's so Brock. great. I do like Agent Venom, but I just want it to be Eddie Brock. It probably I want will, that it probably the, will the, be my problem Johnson, and my problem whatever. is they cannot do what they did before and then oh, they God. cannot miscast Venom. No. If you miscast well, Venom, Tom the Hardy whole, looks a lot better anyway. He does. I don't know if he's Venom, but we'll see how his acting fits. His body Shoot. type at least is Venom. Are you serious? Oh, I mean, I'm he so played a great insane. Mad Max. That's fine. Mad Max is nothing like Eddie Brock. Nothing like Eddie Brock, but uh, the, like none of him with that talent. I, I know mean, he's going to He's a talented guy, well. but like I said, this is a this is a character that before has ruined a franchise, and because of that, uh, I wouldn't it, say he ruined. No, the he ruined films. that shit. Not not all not uh, all of them for me. I mean, well, I like the, the first two. All but still. What I mean by that is the rest of there's nothing after oh, that. Oh yeah, it that. destroyed the yeah. franchise. I see so what you it mean. doesn't make the it other two movies like yeah. The rest of the continuity there's nothing God. after that because of that, and <sighs> because of that, it's so bad. It was. That was it was the so worst bad. depiction. I'm of, like, really, Eric Foreman? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh man, that? Foreman's intimidating. <laughs> but he Where's is, Red at? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh man, just get him up here. Uh, Foreman? Yeah. Oh wow, that's actually not that far behind. See yeah, the I Avatar announcement? I didn't see that. Me neither, actually. Tom what Hardy other villain 100. could be in the Venom movie? Spider Man. <laughs> that would be awesome, though, because think about that's his he's, enemy. Yeah, his Come enemy. Come on, if that we're going to make awesome. a Venom film, Which they're actually talking about having the two crossovers. Which I hope Which is do. like, there's a lot of talks about Spider-Man right now where his story is going. We're on. having this. got to wait. Th- there's because a, there's just... The thing is, it's the same thing as before. I think because of how good pre-screening and pre, I guess, sentiment about the film and that particular Tom Hardy, or not Tom, uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man, mm-hmm. uh... Hopefully People, are, they are already planning more stuff. But as with all new jumps for these movies, it can go those, anywhere. R- well, it, it goes where the money goes. Yeah, if exactly. The, if I they mean, make money, they'll do another one. Absolutely. Well, what I was when I was talking about though is that we have Sony kind of over here saying, "Well, we're gonna make a Spidey Sony Sony verse," and we've got Kevin Feige saying, "Well, no, Spider Man is actually gonna stay in the MCU." I wouldn't mind him being in both. I don't know why. But there he are some people who are dispute. They're just disputing. I kind of right hope now. Venom has a brand new villain. That would be interesting. What's up, Adrian? Thanks for coming in. I think all these movies could be Jeanette, better what's if up, man? made to be R-rated. I think some could and some couldn't. For example, I think it very much depends on the character. For example, I don't think Avengers would be that great R-rated. No, no, no. I you think you have much... to have a character that's like rugged, raw enough to and kill. And honestly, like, that's have... what DC does a lot wrong in their movies is they go too dark too mature yeah it's like and it's PG-13 lighten up more than that comic books not just for kids but initially designed for For children children. and so they need and, and, and even beyond that if you go into product and brand marketing anytime you make something Rated R, you automatically seclude yourself from like a, a lot of the population. Of, yeah. you, you, and so you don't want to think do about that. it. As PG thirteen, you can take your kids, 
you can take you could take a date or whatever. Oh, that's awesome. People under eighteen awesome. can go by themselves. They'll drive a group of friends or whatever. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't happen in our movie. No, you can't do you it. Can't you can't do that. You, you, I mean, I had be a my, for I remember, and that's actually funny for my thirteenth birthday. I think maybe it was. I don't remember what birthday. It couldn't have been that long. When did Blade come out? I saw Blade in theaters. Too. I saw Blade in theaters <laughs> because my father. Loved Marvel and said, "I will take you to see Blade with me." Down and I loved it. I mean, and like, like I said, certain movies: Blade, Spawn, uh, Venom, Venom, Punisher. Punisher. Oh, Punisher! Has you know to what be I mean? Gone. Red Hood. Those are rated R Ooh, movies. Yeah, yeah. A rated you're talking R, Red Hood. A red, oh, that um, has a to rated be a rated R part. Red Hood movie where he's just I'd going so around happy. killing, killing people, people ah. with the two guns. Yeah, oh my pop, god! Ah. Just popping them down on his motorcycle. Or maybe Comic Convo's page low. One of the two. Hey. I posted Not the much. Avatar. How are you? Uh, Good to see you, Junaid. It's thank you for coming through. Or maybe Comic Convo page. Oh, okay. we got Elijah. I mean, what other villain could be in the villain? Yeah, in the Venom movie, Spider Man. But Ven- Venom actually has a wide variety. For example, Eddie, Eddie Brock. Let's think is, about. Yeah. Let's think about which <laughs> Venom we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's here. the thing. Eddie Brock is a is a is an enemy to every Venom that's not him. Yeah. Anybody else who's Flash Venom, Thompson, he basically hunts awful. down. Yep. Uh, whatever the new guy is, I don't even remember his the yeah, new guy's name. Not, it's all right. He's yeah. gone. It was a bad series. Deadpool that and one. Logan guys. How would you? Oh well, that? yeah, of course. I mean, those are rated R. But we were just talking about some characters that haven't had a movie, right? Yet. And that we were saying like not all characters would benefit from the rated R. Like I said, Avengers would lose a huge, huge portion ton of, of their uh, ton of money, and they've cooped in a lot oh, of money. Yeah. I mean, I'd be a bad parent. Well, I take a seven year old to an R rated movie. I went to an R rated. Yeah, movie that's not a bad. That's not the thing is, you, you don't want the thing is they don't want children there alone because then they have no context. Yeah, but if Without you have your a parent, parent, yeah, the, with your parent there to explain to you what's going on at seven, it's not so bad. When you're seven and have no explanations for what's going on on the film, you have no idea what's going Izzy, on. Izzy, do you remember who that in between guy was? He was just so insignificant. Well, he's like he's name. a recent one. He's from a recent. Uh, but come series. on, I don't know his goddamn name though. Yeah, loving. Eddie as oh, Venom again. Yeah, he's great. I love Eddie as Venom. He's back. <laughs> it is me. I'm glad Eddie's, Eddie's back, too. But do you guys want Eddie? It's me. Do you guys yeah. want Eddie to be in it? Or do you want it to be Flash? Here's the thing. If we're going to do a main... Like, that's the thing. We've not, we haven't done a DC or, or Marvel. We haven't done a superhero villain movie. No, we haven't. And that's why this is awesome. Because if this is good, Axel, if this is good... We can start seeing more. Yeah, we can and see this the Joker. Is what I want to see. Mo- see oh, although, Joker, honestly, stop. the Joker prob- has there's problems right now. Like, I'm not a fan of Lito. A lot of people apparently are, but I didn't see mm, enough. I don't of have him enough first. of him to uh, judge. The to stuff be I honest. saw, I was not impressed with. I'll say Everything the stuff I saw, I saw was, was just unimpressive because it wasn't like it, uh, so much of it was cut out. The good part that we were supposed to get about Joker was all cut. Yeah, the stuff and about then they Robin made him a gangster, and I was like, eh, yeah, the thing, and I'm even fine weird. with that. He is a gangster, but not like that. Not like that. Not like a banger, they, man. They took like, away, like, where was his sense? Where pocket. was his sense of humor? He had no sense of humor. Nope. He's all serious. There were no jokes. And he was like time. always laughing, but I'm like, all right, you're laughing, but you're not cracking any jokes. Uh, Cap could probably have gotten away with the rated R, but would it have benefited? Cap, it? Uh, what would it have benefited from the rated R? What What would they have put in there? That would have made, made the movie that better rated R that they could only yeah. do in rated R. That's Not Captain America. A lot of people got set on the Avengers, and some of those people are still young, so they want to see the Captain America movie willingly. <laughs> the only reason I saw Transformers was because I got the movie for four dollars from T-Mobile. The action scenes were nice, but that was the whole movie. Yeah, though. and that's kind of what I've been. Okay, getting Okay, well, if of. that just kind of blocks out the plot, cool. Fuck it. Suicide Squad it was made Lee a poor something. Joker Let me think, Law. I don't like him. Yeah, he's right. It was Lee something, and I don't remember his name either. But he sucks. He was terrible. And then they, the writing on that one was like, there was all kinds of stuff where I was like, wait, he, yeah, the, 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 stuff that most people didn't do, Civil War, see, Civil War might have been a little better rated R, but even then, what do they do? Do they cut the heads off of somebody? Do they, exactly, it's like they R haven't done, really done anything like violence that. violence yeah, or sex scenes, that's it. And that's it. Which and is basically like, decapitation, mm, arms coming off with And bleeding. that happens in Deadpool even in a comedic way. And yeah. that's why it needs to be rated R. But Captain America, could you imagine him tossing his shield in an MCU head comes and somebody's off. head coming off? Or an arm or like somebody or dying plants like, in their, their chest on, and they're right. just like cap and he pulls Dead. it out like is like, that really where we're because going? Because let's be honest here, the guys he throws these shields at. So I would like guys. that a lot, Elijah. If in uh, if Harley Quinn overpowered the Joker because the Joker seems weak in Suicide, 
I agree, Susie. I thought it was a poor Okay, drill, do you think it's Jason Todd like people are leading it up to be? It's not confirmed. If that I'm is, like, it's the I worst really twist in not. fucking history. I mean, he was in uh, Batman Beyond or whatever. I know, and that was also that the was worst terrible. twist. terrible. <laughs> yeah, he said it made no sense. It's like, the Joker <laughs> beat me to this. I'll be the I'll Joker, Joker now. Like, I'm like, are you serious? It's no. like, that's like saying, I got burned by the stove. I'm going to go be the stove, stove now. right. Like, I'm going to become the flame. I'm fire the and... Oh, no, no, no. No, that's no, terrible. No. That, that, that's some real... And the, the, also, the, they didn't lead, like, they didn't lead into it well. There was no, like... For example, a good lead-in that could have been something like that was, oh, Joker kills Jason Todd, Jason Todd comes back in Lazarus Pit, Joker kidnaps Jason Todd, and, and brainwashing, brainwashing him. him. That We know be... what happens after the Lazarus Pit. You fucking lose yourself. Yep. So if the Joker brought him back, brainwashed him, made him believe well, that even this in, is what's going yeah, on. Yeah, and even in regular psychotherapy, that's something that happens. You can stay a captive of someone long enough... To become brainwashed. Right. Not randomly. Psychologically speaking. <laughs> psychologically you speaking, you can. It's like happened before. It's Maybe I want to be syndrome. a stove. LL. Maybe I would. If I could be a stove, I would be the best stove I could be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know who the Joker is. They actually did reveal um, his first name. Who is the Joker? What's his name? Oh, God. Jack. His name is wow. Jack. Yeah, I really. I, you know, they kind of chop him, Jerome, up to be the Joker in the Gotham, but I'm hoping they just do a complete 3 6. I thought, uh, say, no, I thought it was him. so much better before they did the facial stuff. Like the, the mat, yeah, yeah the, the face back stuff. on. And they're so copy new 52 and again. And that just didn't look good. No, it doesn't on look. Screen, it doesn't look. Like, uh, it doesn't look. The, gl- the thing people forget is the Joker, for all his. Whilst he's a classy villain, guys. He is. And he is a classy. Like, like he does things with, well. He does. He doesn't do good things, but he does bad things. Clean. Clean and well. Like, what was it? The I saw a post the other day in one of them. It was, Raza Ghul or has only been beaten by two people. Or, uh, it was something like, Bane has defeated Raza Ghul at chess. The only other person he's ever lost to is the Joker. The Joker, yep. Because <laughs> the Joker is they Batman's talk, main villain. Well, I mean, they talk about it even in his profile. Guy. Like, people think... Oh, one sec. We'll check. Uh, Jerome is like falling apart with the staple face. Yeah, yeah Jack. It's gross. Yes, it is Jack, Susie. And uh, don't like... read the DC Comics, but I heard there were three Jokers. The the new continuity has three different versions of the Joker, but the the original version of the Joker that we all know and love, not the new Fifty Two version, and not the uh, Jared Leto version that they've yeah, introduced. I heard about the original him. Joker has been uh, not identity confirmed, although his origins revealed in. Batman, which one? Because I haven't. It's one of the. It's one of the movies, actually, the animated movies. Really? Yes. And yes. I haven't seen all those. Oh, either. is is it a Killing Joke where his background's revealed? Uh, I heard that animated film was not that good. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I, dude, I'm just like talk about I was just so tripping wrong. over in Gotham when uh, Jerome was stapling himself like. Like, that's killing so joke. It was not, killing that's joke. That's so yeah. not clean. Sorry, it was. Oh, then I joke. read the killing joke. It, it, that's not what it's, it's in the film. It's in the film, okay? Because I was like, all so, what? Which, by the way, the killing joke, the film of Batman, the animated movie, Epic. probably one of the best at Batman animated. Things I'm I've so ever glad seen. to hear that because I have not seen that one. That is one of Check the only out. DC Check animated I have not seen. So I love. And I was talking to some people. It. Uh, the other day, and they're like, "No, no." It's like some people in my work. They're like, "No, no, it's not that good." I'm like, "I'll have to check that out, though, because I believe in the Joker." Saw the animated Killing Joke Jeanette. before reading the comic. Uh, I, I guess I'd have to. I want to confer with you, Elijah, because I've also uh, watched it before reading the original run. Really? The original yes, one's but the original right? run is ridic. The the or I should say the animated is ridiculously Ridiculous. similar. Yeah, they are so is. close. They do such a good job. Uh, let's see. We got. Are you guys gonna be at Comic Con Denver? I am for sure. Yeah, that's yep. that's why I like that one. Is definitely. Are you gonna be at Comic Con? I am. Yeah. Okay, for or sure. I should yep. be. We'll I mean, both be I'm there, really man. Really. Definitely hit us up if you're we're, around. We were talking about trying to do an impromptu cast if we can find some time. Hey, if we can find some we'll time, see what's maybe up, even guys. a little small space, we can just cast from live from Denver Comic Con. We'll keep yep. you guys in the know know about. So Transformers, y'all think BB dies? Probably. Uh, he's gonna have that you origin film coming no, up, and I'm like, uh, I don't think so. I, I wonder if the origin's gonna continue now, from this, or just gonna be an origin story from him. Who knows? But he has a, an anthology film coming up next year. I don't. So think, I don't think they'll kill him. I don't think they are either, only because of how my father came back. Like, I feel like he would have really been not happy with the movie if the if, Bumblebee, if had, Bumblebee died. had died. Yeah, yeah. I think that would have been a 
Just just like Optimus. Michael Bay Butcher Transformers. Agreed. (laughs) They messed it up. The thing is, the other thing that Butcher Transformers was poor. Poor Poor casting. Poor casting. Not even in the original. Because we discussed it earlier, Mark Wahlberg was a better choice. Yeah, in very, our opinion, very was a good. Choice for Mark Wahlberg is pretty much my favorite part of the most recent Transformers movie in its entirety, easily. Um, oh, absolutely. I'll be at a few Comic Cons, but not Denver. Sorry, Susie. Oh. We'll try to make it up eventually, I swear. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. Sana Kumari. S- did you see Asana? Did you happen to see Transformers? The new one? Because, yeah, yeah the know. action scenes in Transformers were good, but the plot was never striking. It was never like well, the original plot, plot was pretty oh, good. Well, yes, I'm but talking. Not the I'm talking yeah, yeah. two to five to five, and obviously we haven't seen five yet, so two to four for me. Agreed. The plot wasn't strikingly memorable. It wasn't good enough for me to be like, oh, I can sit down and tell you the entire plot Always right now. The same like, plot, yeah, yeah it's per- exactly, exactly. It's it the is, guy but... and the girl trying to help the Transformers with some task that seems. It's like that's gonna end the world. Yeah, and it's, and it's their just... fault in the first place. And I was like, Megatron and... was really freaking good All in that Mike first one. All cares about is explosions and, and more explosions. explosions. Yes, and, and making Megatron a biatch. Yeah, Prime is dominant till the end, and Hero. Yeah, that's the other thing is Megatron in the comics and the series always beat the crap out, out of Optimus. Optimus. Every like single literally, time. there are seriously episodes of some of the anime series where he like grabs him by the collar and just like beats smacks him, him, throws him around, away. and. Literally Literally beats him and every it's like, fucking time. He basically. needs help to beat Megatron. And they always that was one of the big biggest things about Transformers the series was teamwork. Teamwork. So teamwork they had was to come huge. together they to beat. Communicate. The kids had to help or yep. whatever. Everybody had and, to help. And in that one anime series, they had the even the little, oh, yeah. little mini scooters that turned into oh, yeah. weapons and stuff, which are which are canon. Yeah, those, they those are. are yes. Those are even not they, the scooter ones, that. but they are in the original series mm-hmm. too. The original series even now stuff like that's where I would like to see them go instead of where they went here would to see more that's on Rodimus Prime, yes. see more on because Rodimus Prime in my opinion is a much more interesting character than Optimus. Optimus. I like Optimus, but he's kind of like Superman. He's the b- big blue Boy Scout of his team. Yeah, he he's doesn't really... have a mean bone in his body. Yeah, Rodimus he's so is soft. not like that. Rodimus is so which much is why this, grittier, and which is why this sucks with Optimus. I'm like, come on, why are we making him? Yeah, he's uh, the Optimus scout. Prime was indeed Megatron's bitch in the series. Yes, he was, and that's that's what sucks Transformers. about the movies. Is Ooh, that Megatron's how a bitch. are they really good? Izzy? Izzy said that he's read a few of the new Transformers comics from IDW. Are they good? He says that they're amazing. Wow, I and I've I've, I've uh, come to trust Izzy's judgment on yeah, these things. Because that's how I got into the Iron Man. Oh, that one. Oh God. Yeah. Have you checked out uh, some of the other ones? He, he I got into the one he was telling me about. What was it? Uh. Uh, is you're gonna have to remember remind me it was like God Breaker, God Country, God Country, I think. Hmm. I think it's God Country, right? Hi Louise, out. thanks for coming in, bro. What's up, Louise? We're just sitting here talking about uh Transformers. Everything. Transformers and everything yeah. And everything Honestly the though, I cannot except God for that Country. one. Yep. Yeah, sweet. That was awesome. He also turned me on to Seven to Eternity, which is really good. Hmm, I've heard really good things about I that. I just what started sh- Redneck too, which was not what bad. What do you share us, please tell me? What do you share us, please? Maybe for the prize, I think they're talking about? I'm not sure. Let us know what you meant by that, Sana. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not quite getting you through what I'm guessing is translate. And Redneck, for sure, have to read. I think I need to find an older... D.H. When did they start publishing what's Redneck? Up? Hey, what's up, to see the last night this weekend. Hey, tell me I how don't. it is, Luis, because I don't know when I'm going to get a see Yeah, it. I'm going to go see it this weekend as well. And what up? Sec. What's up, D.H.? And, yeah, Redneck's great. Uh, but honestly... There's a couple t- issues running now that I would tell people they have to read. As comic fans, is Immortal uh, Iron Man is one, or in, uh, in, 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 Infamous. 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 Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and, and see, Izzy's the one that turned me yeah. on to that. You guys were talking about it. I was like, Ooh. oh yeah, me and Izzy have been talking so about good. that. We started that right after Seeker Wars because it basically nice. pumps up pumps right, right, after. right at the beginning, and it's a very slow runner. But oh my god, it's so good. Uh, in addition, currently running. Batman, dude. Batman from DC. Oh yeah. The only or is it? <laughs> oh, that quote comes? from today. That yeah, that one is great. You should so see. Powerful. Oh man, let me see. I had a couple like ready to pull up because oh, they're dude. so. Fun. So yes. that was the other thing. I, maybe we'll ask people here and see what they say in the comics. I was thinking uh, because we have so many viewers and we can only give out like one physical prize. That uh, maybe at the end of each cast, we just post a picture to the 
Absolutely, like, yeah. And, uh, and guys, we do a lot of custom memes and stuff, and it's it's not that. And, spe- and speaking of the comics, guys, uh, we'll make this quick announcement. Please, please, please provide your it, when you want when you get a prize. Please provide your full name and full address because I have had some returns come back, and I'm gonna have to send a couple people messages. But please be sure once you guys do win, please be sure to just give us your full name and full address, including apartment number, everything, because people will send these back, guys. Yeah, they've sent back they've several. Sent back several packages. And we're gonna have we to get in touch re- with a couple yeah, of you guys and uh, re discuss. As far as Sana, she says. I'm saying about your topic. Please, please remove, remove water, water from, from the, the front. front. That one. <laughs> um, about our topic, we're just sharing basically our thoughts on the previous ones. What we think are going to happen. What's up, the Jessica? Hi, ever. ever. What's Good. up, man? Happy birthday, Jessica. Any of loyal subject figures. Oh man, I wish. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Jessica, yep. And, about uh, the topic, yeah, we're, it's mainly Transformers, but that's just the theme of the episode. We always talk about everything, everything pretty much in the geek verse. Like we just talk about really whatever. And actually, let's mind. ask people: What's your favorite Transformer? Yeah, which one's your favorite one? Uh, my favorite movie, hands down, one, the very first one, hands down, the best movie. I honestly um, love two oh, because you get two. You get. The I thought you were saying you didn't like two. That no, no, much. no, three. I was thinking of three. Okay, because yeah, uh, two, two is, is not fantastic. bad. But the thing about. Two was I didn't like it for the plot, but I loved it for the characters. The characters yeah, the characters and in two were done. That's what that, that's what two through three were about for me. Is Even, the characters, yeah. three was three was, the thing about three was it it was about the characters, but then they tried to layer on heavy plot and it screwed it up. And then the heavy plot made Megatron into such a bitch. Yeah. And I just couldn't I couldn't mm. watch that. No, you couldn't do that. Weekly Sana. I, like I even forgot for a while what three was about. I thought it's three. I thought three. Was, yeah, I know. And... I know. I thought three was the Mar- Warburg movie until I thought about it. Okay, I was like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're still at. Uh, Sam. Video keeps freezing on me. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry, DH. Uh, uh, let me try to. I think I maybe I need check. to. No, I'm I'm paused. Let me cut, kill some of my other stuff though. I'm good. I just have weekly one tab sauna. Open. Yeah, we're on weekly. Yeah, feel free to come back, please. I love this. So, for those of you who haven't been reading Batman. I'm all caught up now. I'm oh, have so you caught up? Happy. It is so good, right? I'm Every, so happy. A, how did you feel about that? Uh, I can't remember if that was Detective Comics or Batman. The Bane arc? I haven't. I, that's Detective Comics. I thought so. Yeah, because I haven't been in DC. I haven't been in Detective Comics because I've been trying to catch up on Batman, but I need to get into it's DC. Hard. And then Action Comics. Oh. I've started on Superman, but I need to get into Action Comics The problem with well. Superman and Action is they go back and forth all oh, the time. The detective's worse because, or the Batman stories, they have one at the beginning of Rebirth mm-hmm. that goes Nightwing, de- Detective, yeah, it's all, all over Star the place. Ba- or like, it's so crazy. All over like, the place. What? Man, Batman has Don't so many it. lines Good right here. now. We, we try not to spoil Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that is a little recent dish. Well, no, your page is not. No, no, no. I thought she, I think she meant the latest. Yeah, yeah, the latest one. But I love the quotes in these ones, like, the, when Gotham yes. Girl asked him, you think you could ever go back to being normal? It's like, do you think you could do it? What's, What's normal? normal? <laughs> not saving people. No. no. <laughs> it's, just, it's so perfect. It's like, wait, what do you mean? It's like, what is not saving people? And then, oh yeah, it's like, what do you, what, what do you mean? I <laughs> like this one. This one's even... Uh, I'm not gosh. Batman because I like being Batman. I'm Batman because I'm Batman. <laughs> like, how fucking... Like, I'm Batman, and that's why I'm Batman. And even, like, this one, though, is, like, the more meaningful. Which page you got there? It's it's pretty much... These are all actually right in a row. Yes. A lot of these get put... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's the scene with Gotham Girl. Uh-huh, and it's, uh... You should know, I do this, but I'm not happy. She's like, I know. Yeah, you know, but what you don't know is that I try. I try to be happy. I try, and I fail. It's deep, you know what I mean? It's powerful. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yes. yes. And it is. It's like I love these ones because these ones aren't about the the action. They aren't about the the criminals or They're about even Batman. The, they are. They're about, They're about his Bruce. personal psyche and his personal day to day. And that's why I'm reading Batman. Please tell I your names. Hi, Sana. We, uh, Leo Rydell. Axel Grave. Yeah, we do this every week. Feel every free to week. come back. We're on episode twenty three now. 
Yes. Oh man, we're getting so far. We're already over six hundred likes, dude. Like we did the whole thing announcing five hundred and then we passed six hundred. And like, if we we if we add up all our views, we're probably at like twenty k views. Oh, easily all together. Not not even counting the the memes and stuff. <sighs> let alone. Wow. I mean, the reach. Like is... you guys have been blowing it up. Yeah. On these. Thank like, you so much. By they, the way. Yeah, we appreciate all the shares and all the things. And for our patrons, I hope you've been enjoying the the Exclusive exclusives content. we've had. I think. I just because this week I've actually been kind of backlogged, so every day I've been releasing instead of Good. At the beginning of the week. Yep, I've seen that. That's a little trouble, but uh, the great part about it is that I can kind of customize the content a little more uh, on the fly. Love them all, right Love. on, Susie. Yeah, they're all great. And I'm really Except enjoying first... this, listening <laughs> to you guys and watching my bro fail at Skyrim. Also, Axel DD2, we got to play sometime. Uh, kill yourself. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> KYS, sir. Shame. KYS. Oh man. oh man. Oh god. I forgot. There's so many. Like I was the. Uh... Is this what I, I think it is? Caught up on the Flash too. Yeah, this is the crossover. The freaking Superman. Oh, Who is it? with the Looney Tunes. No, this one's not Looney Tunes. Actually, this one is Superman and. <laughs> Silver Surfer. He's cross oh, Really? Yes. Which I think Link is interesting because any games you're going to get this year, for sure, picking up the Destiny 2. Mm-hmm. I still want to get a copy sure. of Red Dead Redemption uh, 2. I'm, still, I'm going to pick up Mario. Obviously, I have a Spider Man Switch now. I'm well, buying that's a PS4 coming out next year. And Spider Man. Yeah. I know, but it's still I, like. Spider Man is obviously on the list, though. It is, um, though. Days Gone. I'm all up on that. It's a PS4 exclusive. Um, obviously, we obviously got Injustice. Yeah. Oh, man. So good. Have you I been playing Red Hood, by the way? <laughs> nah, no, I'm, still I angry. Quit. It's hard, man. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... and I actually figured out like a lot of my data got erased, so oh. I'm gonna actually contact Sony because I'm like, I don't know how this like all just wiped off because my Overwatch data is gone, oh. which I'm crying, guys. Oh man, I, I can't imagine. I, I was like, I was like on my PS4, and I'm like, where the is everything? Battle got wiped. Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. Hmm. Oh, I can't remember that one, but I. If it's a PC it game, I probably will or have. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not looking forward to the new Assassin's Creed. It's and just the Ori same thing, different skin. is coming back. Mm-hmm. Battlegrounds and Ori. You have to remind me of that I one. I don't remember Battle that Ground, one. Maybe I think I've heard times? of it and played it, but I don't remember it because it's just not one of the ones Ori? I played a bunch of. They'll just have to rise. Woot, yep, Tyler. Uh, and I'm definitely going to get the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Which um, is pretty awesome. DLC. I actually got to play some of it. Not oh, on Switch, man. though. Okay, well, I was going to say, you can test it out right after the little cast. Uh, let's see. Ori and the Blind Forest from Xbox. Um, oh, okay. Haven't played that one, but I don't have an Xbox. The other one I was going to get What's was... up, Andrew? There was not Monster that many Hunter great, Worlds though. looks pretty good. That one, that one's good. There um, weren't that many, honestly, on either Xbox or PS4 that I know, and me this that's year. that's and you know they were showing them, and I'm you, I'm just like, okay, where's Red Dead Redemption Two? Right, like where, like all this stuff. Like I've pre-ordered that. I'm waiting for it. Where the heck is FF Seven Remake and Kingdom Hearts Three? Can't run Battlegrounds. How can oh. your comp not run Battlegrounds? Battlefront looks good. Battlefront, Battlefront does look good, but look I just good. don't know if it I wasn't have to, at a conference, was it? I don't think it no, was. It wasn't. No, and, was and like, that's okay, the thing. All see, the greatest, that one. all the greatest games didn't Weren't show up at the conference <laughs> because they didn't need the hype. Well, I heard Red Dead got delayed. Of course it did. Oh yeah, Red Dead's coming out next year. Oh yeah, I remember this now. That it's fairly new. Battlegrounds. Yep, I seen some stuff about that. Yep. I have not tried it yet. I might try it. Isn't it in? Is Doesn't it look still like beta? it takes a lot to run it though. Uh, you'd be surprised. I don't think it does. I haven't seen the thing, but I'd say a regular Steam system, at least. Doesn't look too bad. Not on E3. Nintendo yeah. won it. Uh, yeah, they did. And what's weird is, like, the games for Nintendo weren't that, like, oh, my God, and that's what's bad about, that. what was bad about E3. I wanted to be stoked yeah, I should, for they some of the stuff coming up. But I was stuff like, that's going to give me... The only thing I saw was the is... PS4 Spider-Man photos. That was the only thing that got me hyped. Like, like that was literally stuff I jump and do like, yeah, like, like oh, my I heart was racing. Like game. I want this game now, like, but yes. guess what? It's the last one coming out in yeah, the lineup. I know, I know. Really can't wait to play Pokemon. Pokemon. I shared this. Thank I, you, Sonic. Wasn't it? A, wasn't it a tournament though? Yeah, it's Pokemon tournament, and then there's that RPG coming up too. That one will which, be interesting. Yeah, Did you see the Final cool. Fantasy virtual reality fishing? No. I'm just like, what the hell? 
<sighs> Why are See, we even Nintendo doing this? is just so juvenile. That's my thing. Is like, but Nintendo I mean, won. But that's like amazing. saying Nintendo won a hit yourself. And contest. exactly, you don't want Nintendo to win. Breath of the Wild, in my it opinion, is a really good game. game. It really is, bro. I'm I addicted. will say though, it is I a am super addicted. grind fest, though. It is, but how long have you been playing it? Oh, just a couple. Hours. But you know. I, I can extrapolate It's a grind that. fest if you want it to be, because you can sail through that's, the main story. Well, yeah, but that's that's like saying Skyrim is a grind fest if you want it to be. It's if definitely you not as complex as game. Skyrim, though, I wouldn't mm, argue. Not that, not that complex, but enough to the point that you... You do the, have to do a little grinding, I get you. Well, and I even mean, more than that, the, the grinding becomes worldwide. So, for example, the moving into cold areas and having to maintain heat. Yep, you gotta get So you have to camp. grind for that, you have to go get that stuff. It's not a lot of work. Necessarily, it's not like it's hard grinding, but it is still a game that's essentially Did you about use the hot around. peppers. Yeah, that's you exactly. A, you can get a warm tunic and then go straight through it. Well, yeah, if you get once you get to the thing, and yeah, that's even like, after, to, and that's even after you get the ability to no, glide, dude, which no, you don't get for several. no, dude. There's actually a tunic right before all of that. Really? Yeah, you can from the old man. If you cook him a meat and seafood spicy stew, he'll trade you a warm tunic, and you can just sail through the. Oh, okay, but. It's not evident. Like, no, that's not and, obvious. And the, like and I said, the other thing uh, about it that really threw me off was the gliding not being able to for a while is a little irritating where it's like, all right, you know you can glide mm -hmm. in the game. It was a huge portion of the game, but you're not going to be able to glide until you run through a good hour and a half, maybe? Two? Oh, with the little... Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. That was a little disconcerting. It's not like it's bad, but it's one of those things where it's like such I wanna a glide big, up Right, I want like, to glide able, from the start. I wish he would have just gave it to me and then been like, okay, I can give you this better or sword at least make once it, you get to the right, end. Right, or at least make it like less of a big... Because that was a huge mainstay of the game, was the, the ability to glide kind of around the map. Know, and and I, really, I really don't... What I really don't like is the weapons breaking. We got some guns. Oh, yeah. There. Sorry about that. We're oh, sorry, behind. guys. Never played a Zelda game, but I love Breath of the Wild. It's a great game. I'd still give it an 8 out of 10. So we got VR fishing, Elmo. No uh, green. Ha -ha, I laugh. They show fishing. But not FF7. FF7. I hate them. I hate them with all my soul. New Green Lantern movie. 2020. I mean, 2020, I can't supposedly. really get but too then, far like, out. But then, once again, we're talking about a character who has basically killed their series... <laughs> and now it's the reboot, casting. and plus we, we're talking about something that possibly could not happen. Yeah, I mean it's a far ways away. We gotta have, we gotta have. There's uh, Justice League be a success. Or four we gotta movies. have Flash be a success and Aquaman be a success. Now Flash and Justice League are a success. You, and Aquaman one stinks. of those can fail. Yeah, one, one of them. One. one out of and, the three, and not Justice League. If it's Justice League, the we're done. Two will cut, cut the cord. Fail, pretty cut much. the cord. It'll be done. It's done. That you cannot fail that movie. If Justice League fails, the DCEU is screwed. Absolutely. I mean, it literally, that's what's holding it up right now to me, is the anticipation Wonder for that. Wonder Woman and the anticipation for Justice League is the only thing keeping me even, even remotely interested, interested yeah, in the because, DCEU. Ugh. Because this... ABS was awful. And then Suicide Squad, not bad, but nowhere near but an interesting Not good. I mean... A, yeah, it's fucking it wasn't weird. just like, oh my god, I have to watch it all the time. I've like, seen it once, I don't ever need to see it again. Perfect. Pro uh, I want to watch some deleted scenes, I think. That's it. Zelda felt like Dark Souls to me, which I liked. Yeah. A little yeah, bit. it's got that kind of feel to did it. You, did you get a ride a rock yet? That was the other one. Yeah. Cool, uh, the Pioneer. That also took forever to find a good-sized rock to ride. <laughs> Once you got that ability, like, how long did it take to find a decent rock? Oh, a very long time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> took forever. Now, granted, that's not one of the major. Israel. Things, everybody does compare Breath of the Wild to Dark Souls, as it's very easy to get a game over. Uh, uh to be honest, I haven't gotten that many game overs. Yeah, in Breath I wouldn't of the Wild. say it's that easy. It's not easy to get a. Game it would, over. It, it, you, you, you actually have to run up to attention. a big pack of enemies with like a stick and just really be low, and then and then strength. stay and get killed. Like yeah, if you just, want, you can run away from it. Yeah, you could. Basically. I mean, you, you can, there are horses or mounts. You can. Run you away on that? You can, yeah, you can run. I yeah, mean, I've literally can. run off from some of them. Yep, and, and you have fish. stamina, and you can still outrun them. Like that, that's the other thing. Drowning. Yeah. In that game. So I jumped off the cliff. Okay, so here's some, of, the the here's some of my complaints. They didn't limit Link, and I get it because it is open world. But like the problem I'm having is the weapon breaking. 
I'm like, oh, come on. So I have the to thing is, I, a new I'm, I'm set okay of with that, just not so fast. Not so fast. It's so that's the fast. problem. Even it's your like, high level stuff is going to break, break like quick. Six it's like, okay, I get six, seven, maybe eight good battles out of this, and it's already weakening. Like, oh my goodness. If now you I have even to go get collect another many. club. Now I have to get another thing because I want to preserve those weapons that are very powerful, you know, the right. ones that I have that are higher level. So it's like, I got to get a club. And so, and, like, do you stack your high ones and then use your low ones? Yeah, that's basically the thing. And it that's what I'm really trying to do. You is could stacking. run, but what's the point, Law? Living, living. That's the <laughs> Twilight point. Princess is my spirit Zelda animal. <laughs> is that your favorite one, Elijah? I think mine is. Ooh, wow, that's a hard question. Actually. Honestly, I've heard a lot of people say Twilight Princess is the best it's Zelda the best game one. ever. It's I was never good. a big Zelda player, but the original Zelda was still my shit. Like just like the very yeah, 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 the very that one was great. Um, I will say my favorite ones are Ocarina of Time, uh, Wind Waker. And probably Twilight Princess, actually. The original was very good as well. Um, uh, the Adventure of Link, the second one, is awful. Yeah, I mean, I'm it plays like an RPG. I'm like, come not, on, this is not Legend of Zelda. No, it isn't. And they, it, they, they totally it stole off well. Final Fantasy. Yeah, it did. It ripped rich. completely 100%. off of Final Fantasy. They should just put a system to repair weapons. Yes. Yes, they should. Zelda original. Zelda original, yeah. Nice. Zelda, Zelda original one. is probably... It's honestly what every other Zelda people, is based off yeah, of. Yeah, it really. is. I mean... Even though it's further in the timeline, it's still what all the other ones are based off of. It and is. The engines in the Game Boys play basically just like that. Yep. You know, same it's shit. Pretty much the same thing. It, it really was. I remember even because even that, like even back then, it was all pu- pas- puzzles, patterns, and and battles. that's what I like about Zelda is that it is puzzles and there is that. And the, the games, I will. What's say, what's good about some of them, and especially the platformers, is that they don't fail to get a little bit more difficult, in the sense that you have. More complex puzzles, maybe not even more difficult, but you still have that complexity. You still have that. Like, every Zelda game, there are challenges you got to get through. Some of them are set up for you to figure out pretty easily, and then some of yeah, them you got to think about. They it. are remaking Shadow of the Colossus. Yep. They uh, are. Thought Tyler, they PS4 showed that. PS4 remake. Which, Which I, <laughs> yeah, I was like, a remake. Can, I get a, can I get a Shadow of the Colossus 2 instead? Yes, please. <laughs> Can I? Like, that, 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 that game was not, not remake. Yeah, like, I don't care. Remakes. Oh, zero level. Wait, I even forgot the one. God of War. Mm, Definitely getting okay. that. That one's Definitely pretty good. Looks I will say fantastic. though, I, yeah, the Viking uh, enemies, like me and my friend, were actually I totally forgot about it, which is kind of telling. But definitely. Ooh, look, we just published a, a photo. <laughs> if anyone wants to share oh, one of sweet. the photos, yeah, we just guys, we, we published. And please feel free to share the video as well. Um, but yeah, yes, Shadow is uh, really cool. Shadow reminds me of a large scale uh, Dark Souls, but less hard. Yeah, much much more player friendly. And that, <laughs> Dark Souls is not supposed to be player friendly. No, not so at that's all. why. Oh, no, I was like, all. wait, Breath of the Wild, Dark Souls. Eh. Yeah, it's not I could kind of play like it, but I don't get nearly I, as many I game overs. That, like, yeah, no, I was like, no. I wouldn't make that comparison. He said he got a lot of game overs, and I'm sorry, but I was sometimes upset. you just got to But yeah, if you wanted to share it, it out what of there, did if we need share to. today? What was the one I shared? I forgot. Let's check it out. We're right here. Might as well give it a look. Right? Yeah, because I saw the one that we were sharing around today as well. I think that one was from the other day, actually. Because uh, I've been one, doing the, that one, oh, the, the one uh, Mongol. Shared. Yeah, the, they've been coming out, but like not showing or something. I don't know. It's that one right there, I think. Has it been uh, popping up for you? Uh, a little bit, the 23-minute one. There we go. So this one actually just went out th- 23 minutes ago. Jelly, dang. My son was five, and he completed God of War. Yeah, it wasn't very hard. It wasn't. I mean, but it was fun. But it's a great series, and oh, this yeah. one looks like it's going to build oh, on that this greatness. one's a great one. I forgot about this one. I forgot I even made this one. Oh, Wolverine. <laughs> That's awesome. It's not my birthday. Actually, it actually is. is. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Some of these man. are pretty great, honestly. I've been liking all of them. Yeah, make that Batman one into a. There's yeah, so one, many. That one Did you see the, the, ba- yeah. the Batman is Batman? <laughs> <laughs> like, all of them. There's a new one I want to do that's from Trinity. Uh, Ooh, it's uh, it's about it's about Mongol actually. Really? Yeah, he has a, a child now. What? Yes. Uh, it's such it's a crazy like weird Mongol. Yeah, it's so weird. It's the way it worked out was so weird, but but cool. it made sense. It it, it, didn't, it, it was it, out of left field, but it was cool. So. Yeah, it was cool enough that it didn't make you think about like mm. oh this is so weirdly. 
That's kind of how I feel also, about the Dark Trinity. In but the it's also because comics. it wasn't just a plot filler. Like, sometimes they make characters and do things just to further the plot. And mm-hmm. then you know. You're like, oh, this character's so fake and... And, and <laughs> it's just a phony. Yeah, ass. it's basically a prop, not even a character. Whereas this character was like, yes, is it a movement thing? But th- there was no logical descent from it. It was like, yeah, this is totally how the comic would roll. Hmm. Uh, I guess I could ruin it because it's actually like seven months old. You could. Yeah, I, don't I mean, wanna, I don't want to ruin it for you. Yeah, though. I really don't want to be. I don't know if it's all. that. Please like, don't. No, I don't know if it's. Let's a not. Let's thing. not. Because uh, I, I oh, yeah. love the Trinity comics, but I haven't read the Rebirth Trinity series yeah, re- yet. Honestly, I wasn't that impressed until, like, issue four. Shoot, I stopped. I'm like, I, stopped I, I like the DC, fi- or the new 52 Trinity series, actually. It was really? pretty good to me. All right, guys, time to go. See you next week. See you next Thanks week, Tyler. Tyler. We appreciate it so much. He was also Lord of the Rings, the Third Age, when he was, when he was four. four. Oh. Haha, total video game nerd. Oh, yeah, that's the way to <laughs> that's be. That's awesome. I like that Shoot, one. The third age hard. is a good one. It's not very hard it's either, though. Early. Oh, yeah, I mean... Honestly, there aren't that many hard games anymore. Not really. I'm trying to think of the last hardest game I've The last really hardest had. game I've tried recently was Gears of War 4. Very, very difficult on Insane. Intensely. Oh, my God, Insane! Oh, I play... Oh, a- any game man. I play, no, Leo, I, mean, I go to the you top have to level. Gradually, I mean, and, and my thing about, uh, my thing about <laughs> God of War, <laughs> playing the first three... I had to start on Insane. But I didn't know that you did the same oh, thing. Oh, well, it's actually part of our gamer code. So my gamer group, it's part of our code that if you do something, especially anything for video content, you, you must make insane. your first run on the hardest possible difficulties. We used to do our first run on Hardcore. That's great to hear. Because you had to do Hardcore before you did Insane. Now we go straight to Insane. Do it Insane, bro. Because that's how I I'm like still not fucking done. Same with Injustice. I'm just like, God damn it. Oh my God. I had to learn Injustice so on the combos. hardest setting is like, oh man. They can't believe for like 22 The computer hits. is like, yeah, right? I'm like, the computer can just juggle you the and whole time. And then every time I try to up. hit him, he blocks me. Like, he knows every combo. So and, I'm like, and some of the and some of the glitches allow them to All have the random fail safes. Rail, they, like, they, it's like they, what the heck? Won't go off blocks when they shouldn't be able to block. They block during with, like uh, when uh, Batman does his grab yes. like, to do the ultimate. They can block that so easily. I'm like, you can't, you block, can't that. block that. That's it's unblockable. A grab pretty much. Well, not not even that. The ultimates for certain parts of them, like you can dodge, do this or that. You cannot block. You can't a do- block. Uh, you can't block a grab for sure. Right. I mean, he lunges at you and grabs you. You cannot freaking block but, that. I was but like, what? my bigger one, even than that, was like I said, I've been, I've caught issues where the the ultimate will hit and then it won't go off. Like I'll have hit them with my grab, but it won't grab them. I'll just slide off of them and then That's so <laughs> like fucking. literally. And online can get a little bit sticky. I can't too. stand stealth games. I really didn't like them either. Dark Souls. I love to challenge myself. Dark Souls is great. Shoot, I Hitman love Dark Souls. Is, Hitman is semi difficult, but I felt like if you spend enough time in a in a place, you just you learn the learn you learn the all, pattern yeah, and you, you figured will. it out pretty easy. If you it, and just to test my theory, go watch Gavin Free from Rooster Teeth. Uh, play take some of those. Yeah. yeah if Gavin Free can do that, I'm pretty sure me we can take care of it after some time. The other thing about the most recent Hitman game was a lot of it had to do with the equipment you amassed. You could amass different poisons. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. That I've been I do a lot of watching of streams and stuff and so I've seen Gavin Free. Yeah, I haven't played the Hitman. But I, I will say it was difficult, but not on the difficult level of a game challenging like, all right, so for example, before... So Gears, it's difficult, but it's not challenging is what I'm Yeah, thinking. it's like, uh, it's challenging, but not difficult. It's like something that would take time, but not be so impressively difficult you could never do it kind of thing. Okay. Like, so for example, the Gears of War thing, get a, there's no there's amount no of skill or thing. Like, I hit every shot on some of those. I hit everything, miss everything. And sometimes just get blown up because the game blows me up. Mm-hmm. It's like ridiculous. Like it'll do what it wants, dude. Uh, that's the other thing. Some you games with glitch, what? glitches often are some of the hardest games to beat. And then, and there's a lot of them when you get on insane mode that just do random glitches like that. Yep. And that's well, to mess you up. in Gears Three, I believe there was this one place where we could not get out where the people were following you. And they followed you over this cliff, and we were stuck, man. We were stuck for like thirty minutes. A four man run. Seriously, you were stuck there. It wasn't stuck. Like we literally couldn't get past the part because it was so hard. The oh, it freaking you got glitched. Jammed up. We did, but then we actually got stuck because what happened was everyone's on this side trying to fight someone off, right, and fight him off and wait for the thing. Yeah. My guys on the other side because I respawned over there, and now they can't finish. 
Oh and I can't think. God, so but like glitched and it, got you stuck. But here's the funniest part about that glitch: that then once I got glitched over there, they all couldn't die because we kept getting. So jammed. it was just like fighting endlessly. It was until everyone on that side died. And, and and not only that, they literally. So what would happen is one of them would die. They'd keep fighting, then they'd respawn over there. Mm -hmm. They literally just let everyone die. Everyone respawned with me. On that side, which turned out to be like ten times easier to defend, because none of the characters basically spawned so up over. So they were all. So let let me gather this. They were all fighting while you had respawn on the other side. You couldn't help them. Nope. You had to wait for them to die. They respawn though. They respawn. It was weird. It was glitch. Wow. And then at the end of that weird respawn glitch, it went through the thing. Yeah, it was so weird. Well, it, it, it didn't sound like you were stuck too long though. Were no, you? it was like an hour, man. Like an wow, hour. they were grinding away at for an hour? Oh, dude, you should see some of these. Like, the last Injustice <laughs> run I did was, like, three hours but you were But you were stuck on that part. Oh, yeah, for, for like, an hour, easy. We were stuck on that part for an hour, then we had, like, 15 minutes where we were trying to figure out what the fuck was going on with Okay, the so the glitch was only for 15 minutes. That's the glitch was, was, well, the glitch then maintained until, like, another 30, 30 minutes, probably, where we had to finish the fight, because... Well, basically what it ended up happening was the original glitch we figured out was n unending enemies. They never stopped coming. That's why okay. we could never beat it. And so once we got over here, the game, like, jammed up and stopped spawning <laughs> enemies. Yeah, it literally... Like, an hour, yeah. Shit, an hour, yeah. Definitely, I've unlocked most things. It's still difficult, it's still but difficult. it's not like a classic. classic. I, right, and what I say by difficult is more along the lines of even if you did everything perfectly correctly, for example, in old school jumpers and stuff, you could still, you could still just jump the wrong time. Yep. It's, oh, are we talking about old school platformers like really early Mario where some Star, of the, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong where, some of the, where some of the levels are just impossibly hard at points. But even later, like, like you can you get into the 90s. Concise, oh, yeah. Concise but it, spot. Right, and, and because of that, the tight programming of the game makes it difficult and those kinds of things have persisted. For example, Castlevania was that way. And a lot Castle of it was new button was so mashing. Good, like, though. if you couldn't oh, button mash, get in a I, Destiny raid and be in there for four hours while if your team doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Most certainly that is uh, easily four hours. Um, four hours, man. That, if you, your team doesn't know what they're doing, you could get jammed up. Definitely. And I've seen it. Like, I haven't been in one of those le yet. But I've only seen played. it online. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow. Well, really and then, get plugged. but I do know from other games, Quest and etc., that you can, like, a, a Warcraft quest can take you six hours. Yep. Easily, old ones at least. Susie could probably tell us more about current. Yeah, she's on current Warcraft. Warcraft. I haven't done any Warcraft since the panda showed up. So, wow. You know what's crazy is that's the last one that I played. Wow. Legends of Pandaria. Yeah, yeah. And that was it pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I just I just fell it. out of it. Warcraft really? raids are long. She knows it. That's good though. I mean, I like long raids. To be honest, the thing is, I've been especially in <laughs> gaming. I've been. I've been I've yeah, been having trouble on both trouble. sides because too much time for one. Like I don't have as much time to game as I. There's well, not I like the raids. I don't like six hour raids. Ah, uh, yeah. I like maybe like summer hours. five plus hours. Away. Yeah, that's about it. Wow. Warcraft raids are long. Warcraft raids are gold. Go kill yourself again, Mikey. After that, Pandaria, I just couldn't keep myself. Yeah, it was really just a focused. little bit. When y'all said DD two earlier, did you mean what did you mean? Uh, I believe he was talking about. Wait, what was I talking? Was it D and D or was no, it? No, no. Oh, okay. oh wait, no. It might be D and D. Maybe that's what D and D. Was, but I thought if I was running a game, I want to join in that. Oh, baby. I'll let you know. Well, we use uh, fuck. What is that? The one of the Steam apps to run our game. Let me know. I it's I only like twenty bucks. It. It's super awesome too. I love the app. Mikey, Amazing. what's that app we use? Let me know, guys. I will join tabletop in the game. simulator. Awesome. Bam. I'm in. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's so Dungeons Defenders. That was it. I knew it was something. I thought it was gonna be. Still go because it's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. well, I am, dude, because I want some D and D games going. Oh, dude, I've been, I really want. Them. I've been running those ones, and I have super fun with them. The problem it's is good. getting everybody together consistently is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Especially like really we were hard. running. I want to say we were running five people or something. Shoot, yeah, I mean it's like four plus. It's hard to. Oh yeah, anything four plus. It's well, hard like to get everybody back at a consistent time. Yeah. It's just hard. Table Tabletop. Top. Yes, y'all, yeah. please. Let that me reminds know. me, dude. The most difficult game I ever ran. I did a uh, volunteer D and D panel for a convention oh, nice, for man. children. It was specifically for kids. And, uh, I, and I D &D. know. 
It was interesting. I didn't prepare well enough and had to do it the day before. Basically, I drafted simple, small characters like they did for uh, D&D 4, where you basically just got oh, your six stats and some feats and a weapon. And I think we had 40 kids or something, all at the same time. Two days in a row, I want to say. And I had luckily borrowed some miniatures from somebody and had some of my Sir, own. Sir, that is a I very, had, very good deed. It was great. I actually have some pictures somewhere, but... That's a great deed, man, because that's I, a lot of kids. It was so fun. I Leroy went, I, Jenkins! Jenkins. <laughs> Leroy <laughs> Jenkins! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Anybody who played WoW practice, they're Leroy Jenkins. I actually, like, actually made a, uh, <laughs> with a, with a crew of other people, we actually made a, I need to message him because we made a zombie one. And basically what we did is we just passed the story around every week and That's somebody awesome. would be, you know, Game Master a different week because they knew the story, obviously. But every week was a mystery because one, one person knew and everybody else didn't. That's cool. So, oh, I love playing like that. Well, I've been in a couple was... groups when we just pass it around. I've had a couple like those. It keeps it on your feet because it's like it keeps you on your feet. Next week you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Next week you might. Who knows? I'd love to too. The other problem I have with D and D being the same problem I have with everything that the amount of time in my day never and seems dedication. To be, like when are they gonna give me a pill that eliminates sleep? Right. I <laughs> love it, sleep, it guys. That. Guys, you don't know me, but I would if I could. I would sleep twelve hours a day, and I can't sleep anymore. I need. I need the time. It's to so do hard because it's, video yeah, it's the time, and, man. It's the time. It's the dedication to all these different I, mediums. And I finished working and doing think, stuff on the side. I finished Alien Omnibus this last week. How was it? Very good. It's also about four hundred pages per uh, chapter. So at six chapters a piece, I think I equivalented. It would have been the equivalent of ninety comics. Oh my god, dude. So I probably spent... That's admirable. Six hours? I don't know. I don't know how long. It's been a lot of time. What's your thoughts on PS4 not wanting to go pl- cross-platform? Fuck them. <laughs> um, I'm okay with it for some yeah. games, because I don't want to go cross-platform with somebody on PC and I'm playing Overwatch. Thank you. Everyone says that, but... The uh, people on PC suck as much. Yeah, Trust me, man. There are, but the people that are pros that, will mess well, you up. Yeah, on a PC. If that's, you, no, that's true. On, you can't no, say. That, that's true. But and this is no insult to you. Are, are you playing professional Overwatch? Are you going to be playing with these guys anyway? Oh, At their elo, man. I very much doubt it. They, I mean, I played against some of these. Well, I'm not playing professionally, man. But but even at like say you weren't playing professionally, but just at the professional level. You know, I I, I know very few people on console oh. who are even past silver. You know what I mean? And that's no offense. I'm a silver. I was going to say, I know some people who are past silver, but you're right. And the level differences are very vast on consoles. It, and that's vast. the thing. If you want to be do that, that's fine. But like I said, that's like, you know, if someone has a poor frame rate on their screen, it's the same thing. Like, I get better stuff than you because I have a better exactly. equipment. You do have better equipment. And that's, my, that's what I'm saying is like... A lot of the times, the PCs are better equipment than some of these consoles. Oh, yeah, but PS4 that's... is almost, like, dated at this point. I mean, to be fair, they're always that way. Like, the c- computers are always ahead. Always ahead. ahead. Always. Because and that's why I adaptable. don't want the cross-platform. But... Keep it separate. I'm I'm down to keep it separate. Yeah, I'm not for it because then you miss out on, like, half your shit. Not only that, then I have to buy a game on three platforms. Yeah, I'll say. I, I wish the games did come out on all. I'm sorry. I, I like, want, I maybe not cross-platform more. play, but cross-platform availability. Games. Yes, but they'll never do and that because it's less money. Like yeah, I said, they I don't mean, want. We gotta us. have the ones that that's, are exclusive. Like and they just want to deal with that Xbox well, only. And then, then it would come down to okay. Now, no one, for example, if everything came out on Xbox, why would I buy a PS4? PS4 right? And plus, or the PC exactly, for versa. Versa. Although that's my argument for PC. I've never. I can buy every single game from both consoles on the on PC. PC yeah, and that's the and best play thing them about PC. and play them at a higher frame resolution. Yep, and that's the best thing about PC. But it's just like although here's the I, other thing: you can play some of these games with a mouse. You just have to interface a mouse yeah, and keyboard. They've and literally been trying to keep people from doing that because it affects the quality like, of play. Yeah, uh, if I'm using a console, I want to use a controller. I, I feel Person that, but I use a controller on PC sometimes. Yeah, and so not a lot got. though. Uh, for Honor is basically the only thing I like to use my PC wow, you controller. Got, you you got to use a controller on For Honor. Yeah, I, I I did and it for you, PC, but for me, I, I would never use a mouse for For Honor. I have my ethics was, exam I, tomorrow, the and I'm here it was actually study. so much more effective on the mouse. Like it was because 
the way of blocking. Or watch not. Not to me, man. Boo, 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 so easy. Nope. Like it, I just I played I played for Honor on there on on the PC and I didn't like it. I've done PC, Xbox, much rather, and then I've done uh, I've done a bunch bunch of them. But the thing about it is, like I said, if you're better with the mouse, then you'd probably be more accurate with the mouse. If you're better with the uh, but controller. I've used mouses before, and I'm just yeah not for For Honor. Sorry. I have my ethics exam tomorrow, and I'm here instead of studying. <laughs> well, thanks for coming I out. Appreciate it. What's your thoughts on? P- oh, yep. Yeah. But thanks for coming out, and thanks everyone for coming out. I mean, we have seven viewers still right yeah, now. Yeah, that's a strong. That's a strong presence we have, and you guys have been coming back every week. Due diligently. Yeah, Thank we you appreciate so much it. for participating in our in our cast. I mean, this is the highlight of our week, guys. Oh, definitely. It's a time to relax. It's a time for everybody to talk. It's the time for us to all just have a big old geeky discussion, guys. Certainly. And, oh my goodness. I can't tell you enough how excited I am for Spider-Man coming up. Because that just... So far away, though. It is. It is far away. But think about how close it is now. I mean, in comparison, though, when I it mean, was when we were... That's true. Like, a couple weeks ago, you know what I mean? It's oh. coming up so quick. I don't know, man. And, not, I, and I'm not down for... What I'm not down for is all the spoilers. I'm Too not. Much spoilers. I, I'm just not down for. That's, that's my problem. I've there. never felt like I was waiting for the Spider-Man for like a year. I, I've always felt like it was right around right the corner because nope. they keep putting out. It's overwhelming. Goddamn. It's overwhelming. Uh, Since December, they've just been blasting us with all this stuff. Blasting us. Like, <clears throat> even all the content. The better thing, if they did like more of a campaign, like um, say for instance, uh, wow, uh, David Heller, yeah. What's his Legion. 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 Sorry, yeah, I, I, was was like, that, yeah, that was I like, recognize him by <laughs> David Haller. So right, I'm right. Like, yeah. Um, if they did like a Legion campaign where they were just putting out content pictures, that was so bits. good. That was the that was best. awesome. That was the best, hands down. In in my twenty, however many years, I don't remember my age. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best form and consistency of advertising I'd ever seen. There was so much that even Every people like day. me who was following it. We're not privy to every single piece because right? I could not physically keep, keep up, up with it. And there was co- parts of the comics. They had there comic was drawings, pieces. They there had was video videos, edits, clips, yep. uh, cool little graphic switches. And it wasn't it wasn't any plot rolling. None. It was literally just None. like a snippet. It's In like fact, him, like I can't even remember new. most of the characters being displayed. You no. only ever really even see Legion. Uh, they had these this whole series of uh, Jack and Jill, uh, basically. Uh, I've parodies where it's like you know Jack sees himself Jack sees the world you yeah know, Jack they had sees those you know, time and outside of space they didn't have anything about anything other ca- anything my rule with trailers is I only watch the first one and maybe second to stop because I don't like a lot spoiled but I this mean, is just overwhelmingly spoiled most of the trailers don't spoil yeah I've heavy. never seen this with like I've this never much. seen this not that heavy and maybe it's because it's our third Spider-Man, you know, but I still didn't. Want I think all what that. It, and what I'm hoping for, and here's my hope: I'm hoping they have so much good stuff that they know they can put these trailers. Yep, out. exactly. That they know that the best parts of the movie have not even remotely been, been touched. Viewed. Yep, that would would be one. Because I have so much now. What we got like ten minutes of film, probably. We probably got at least ten to twenty it's minutes. Like we got of ten the film, right? Of the right film, now. and then now that you can interpret probably a good thirty to thirty-five minutes of it because of all that. You could say you could come right. Up with you extrapolate theories. and say, okay, well, we know he got the alien medal yep. from the Chitauri, so that's <laughs> what he's rocking is. with. We know he's after Peter. Probably knows who Peter is, or at the very well, least, he wants is to trying to figure take out. out all of Peter's family. We yep. know Peter does has all these cool epic scenes. You know, it's like even some of the little funny quips where he's just like over the city. You know, oh yeah, like, the hey, fly- everybody. You know, like. I would have I would have preferred that in the film. And then I saw another clip where he's getting sent to the principal's office. I'm like, I want to see this in the film, though. Like, right, why are you showing me like, the whole film before I get to see exactly. any of it? So many spoils. Like you said, like you said uh, Even like 20, 20 minutes worth of actual footage and probably 40 minutes worth of plot. So 40 minutes of that movie, I will already know what's going on. I'm not going to be shocked. I'm not going to be surprised. I'm not going to be excited. And a comic actually spoiled... Um, a relationship between two characters in the movie, and I'm not definitely not going to spoil it for anyone, but I had to stop reading because I was like, okay, I really cannot continue reading. I hope this is in the movie, but 
I can't, I cannot spoil it for myself anymore. So yeah. I haven't watched it since that. I haven't watched a single trailer. I haven't been on the Facebook page, the Instagram, all the social media channels. I try not. To I've been do annoying all of it for Spider-Man too much. Homecoming. The only, the only time I do that is a when I don't know enough about it. Because then if you go in completely. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.